Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I have a rectangle that is 27.8 or excuse me, 28.712. And I need to divide it, divide it into five equal increments. You could do it with lines. I'm going to do it with the guidelines. I'm going to bring it over here and I've got snap to it. It's going to snap to it. I'm going to bring another one and snap to that edge. Now I'm going to take this one. I've got my nudge factor just set on two inches. I'm going to control D or hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over. So I need, there's the four lines, which I'm going to give five spots because here's one, two, three, four, five. Now they're not equal. We can go to edit, select all guidelines. Go up to Windows, Dockers, trend, uh, Align and Distribute. And in this case, the guidelines have no width. So it really doesn't matter what you pick. Center is always probably the best on this. So I'm just going to hit Center. Now these guidelines are exactly the same distance apart. And I could have done it with lines if you needed to break it up. Let's, uh, let's just double check. Corral. And if you hold down the control button, you'll get a perpendicular line. So we're at, uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on my pen tool and I'm going to change my 150 points and I'm going to call it on my dimension. So now when I draw it with my, you'll be able to see it and I'll be able to see it. So we're at 5.74. 5.74, 5.74. So it's Corel has divided. We didn't have to do the math, you know, take 28.1712 and divide it by five. And you could do that, you know, but why do that? And like I said before, you could do this with the lines equally as well. I'm going to turn off my indexing lines and I could have done it with lines. Uh, preferably would have it better to have your line bigger. I'm going to go ahead and make it red. I'm going to have it snap to there. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. Have it, have that one snap to there. I think I've still got two inch nudge factor. Control D, move them over. And then you can very easily, without selecting the box, hold down your alt key and swipe through the top. And the hairlines don't have any width either, so we can do the same thing. And now these are, and if you needed that done, then you could take your virtual segment delete key and do that. And then if you needed individual blocks, you could do that with the Smart Fill tool. And they're all going to be the same anyway, so you just copy that one over and over and over. So if you look, we've got 5.742, 5.742. 5.742. So Corel is a powerful tool in dividing stuff like that. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.